Hello, this is Frank Pillow from Afri Design Studios. This is the continuation of our tutorial on this bungalow in Revit. Today we shall be looking at how to put the ceiling on your building. How do you put ceiling on your building? As you can see from this 3D view, this building has doors and windows, but there is no ceiling yet. We have to put the ceiling. But how do you go about doing that? You go under your project browser. You take note of floor plans and ceiling plans because you want to work on the ceiling plans. You have no business with the floor plan for now. So you go to ceiling plan and go under ground floor level. Double click on ground floor level because that is the level where you want to set your, your, your ceiling. Double click on it. It will bring you here. When it brings you here, you go to architecture, click on architecture, look for ceiling, click on ceiling. When you click on ceiling, bring your cursor down, you see that the, 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 the shape of the cursor has changed from arrow to a circle with a cross or a slash. But then I want to show you something. There are two ways in which you can do your ceiling. You can do it using automatic method or you can use it, you can do it using the sketch method. When you use automatic method, you have nothing to sketch. All you have to do is to position your cursor in the middle of the room you want to add the ceiling. And the ceiling will appear once you click on it. But when you're using sketch method, it will enable you to sketch any shape of ceiling you want. When you're using sketch method, you have liberty. You have the independence or the power to roof or to, sorry, to seal any shape you want. But automatic ceiling does not give you that luxury. So I want us to try the automatic first before we now try the sketch method. So click on automatic ceiling. Then come down under your properties. You will see that the ceiling that is there by default is compound ceiling. Compound ceiling is the ceiling that is there by default. And the size of this compound ceiling is 600 by 1200 millimeters. But you still have an other options that you can select from. If you are the type that like using 600 by 600 ceiling boards, you have the option to select from. So if you click on this arrow here, it will give you other options you have. We have basic ceiling, which is generic. This one is plain. It doesn't have any, any stripes on it. When you seal it, nobody will know that it is. It will just be like a, 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 a the, the, the floor or the floor of a decking. But when you're using this one, 600 by 600, it's going to have stripes or squares. Then if, you, if you're using this one, you're going to have also stripes. But the difference will be the sizes. This one is 600 by 1,200. Why this one is 600 by 600? So I want us to use the two and see how they look like. Let's make use of 600 by 600. Okay, let's make use of this, this one that is default. The default is 600 by 1,200. You click on it. If you come to this, but before you come to the room to put it, there's one thing again you need to set. You need to set the height of your ceiling. What is the height of your ceiling from the floor, from your DPC? What is the height of the ceiling? I normally make my own 2,700 because I will always reason that if the height of my building is 3,000 millimeters, I normally give one foot away from the top of my building in order to put my ceiling, which is 300 millimeters. So if you minus 300 from 3,000, it's going to give you 2,000. 700 so i type 2700 that is the height of my ceiling from the floor so now i can now go to the rooms when i position my cursor in the room 
the cursor that was initially circle in shape will change to arrow. And that is not the only thing you are going to observe. You are also going to observe that the boundary of that room will turn to red. Meaning that if you click, the whole of that place that is bounded by that red, by those red lines, will show you the ceiling. So let me click now and see what is going to happen. Okay. I clicked, but I could not find my ceiling here with a warning showing. There's a warning which says, if you look at this place, you see the warning. None of the created elements are visible in reflected ceiling plan. And blah, 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 blah. Now, what it means that the view range does not cover this height that I use. So I have to go to my view range and correct some things. So I press escape. I escape. Okay, I click outside and now go under properties and look for view range. View range. Now here is my view range. You can see view range here. Click on the edit. When you click on the edit, come here, primary range. For top, go here and click this arrow. And select unlimited. Note. You will only do this that I'm doing now if when you click your ceiling, it did not show. Sometimes when you click it, it will just show automatically. It means that this place has already been set. But if it doesn't show, it means that this place, the view range has not been set. So you have to change it. You have to set it for you to see your ceiling reflected. So after setting the top to unlimited, the next place I have to set again is the level. I go to the level, click on this arrow again, this small arrow here. And also select unlimited and click OK. Now, as I did that, you can see the ceiling now appeared. The ceiling is now shown. That is how the ceiling looks like. So let me continue with my ceiling. I go to ceiling again. Click on ceiling. Then I come here and click. I click here. 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 Something is happening here. Something is happening. This one is sketch. So, but before I click on the other ones, I need to change the size of this ceiling to 600 by 600. So, I go to this arrow, click on this arrow, and select 600 by 600. So, if I click here now, you will see that the, the shape of this one is different from this one. Then I click here again, 600 by 600, 600 by 600, 600 by 600, 600 by 600. And the same thing here. The same thing here. The same thing here. So this one that is refusing to pick, to reflect, I'm going to use sketch for it. So I click on sketch. Then when I click on sketch, you will see the cursor will change to cross, meaning that you can now sketch. So I now come here to this edge. I click here and draw like this. Go here. Draw like this. Go here. Draw like this. Go here and end it here. When I end it here and I come to finish and click finish, if you see it, it will appear. So this is how to put your ceiling. This is how to do your ceiling. Now after doing the ceiling, there is another thing we have to do. We have to put lighting points. We have to put lighting points in this building. The electric bulbs and the rest of them. So how do you put lighting points? Like ceiling fan. Uh, ceiling lights and everything that has to be positioned on the ceiling so you go to components click on components you go to load family click on load family then you scroll down look for lighting fixtures this is lighting fixtures double click on it look for ceiling lights ceiling lights double click on it all these are for ceiling so I look for the one of my choice. Maybe I should take this one. Okay, this is ceiling fan. I select ceiling fan. I click OK. You will see the preview. This is it. This is the ceiling fan I've picked now. I want to put ceiling fan on these rooms. I come here on the middle here. I position this one. I come here on the middle. Position this one. Come here on the Put this. 
put this and put in my dining. This is my kitchen. I don't need to put it in front there. So I press escape once. I go to load for me again. I go to lighting fixtures. I go to ceiling lighting. Now it is time to look for bulb. The electric bulb I'm going to put. I want to put this down light. I select this down light. Click open. Then I'll come here. Position one here. Position one here. Position here. Position here. One here. One. One here. One. Put one at the here for toilets. Put one here. Put for this lobby. Put for this lobby. Put two for the lobby. Put inside this small toilet lobby. One. Put inside this toilet. Put for this store. Put for this toilet. Put for the veranda. And for this veranda, I'm going to put two. Now, I'll go to, I'll press escape twice to end the command. I'll go to my parlor. Copy this one. I want the light that will be in the parlor to be four. And I'll use copy. I copy this. The one in my parlor has become four. I click on this one again, select this one. And who press con uh, control, hold control for me to carry two of them at the same time. Click on this one, I go to copy. I, co I click here and move it. Okay, this room has four now. I want to make this one four as well. Click here and hold control. Click here, go to copy. This one has four. Then this is for the last one. I'm copy. Make sure it is straight in alignment. If not, okay. These are my lights. Okay, I need for my for my kitchen. So I still go for component. So my kitchen too. I put two in the kitchen. So all these are the lights. You cannot see this light now except you snap the inside of this room. The interior. When you snap the interior, you will see this light. But let's go to the 3D view. When you go to 3D view, you can see all this. This the things you are seeing now are the lights. Some part of it is projected inside the ceiling, but the other side is showing in the Main room. So this is the ceiling. You cannot appreciate this ceiling now because you are looking at it from the top. We are going to snap a camera showing the inside of this room to show us how this ceiling actually looks like from the inside. So we are going to snap the pallor. This is the pallor. We are going to snap the inside of this pallor. So to snap, we go to ground floor. So click on it. Then go to camera. Carry camera. I want to snap it. I want to capture this door. I click here and move and snap. So you can see our ceiling fan already. Then I can expand this by clicking on this view button and expand them. Expand them. Okay. I'm not seeing most of the lights. I can only see one light. I can only see one light here. I want to see the lights. Uh, I'm not seeing the lights here. Okay, this is another one. Okay, let's let's do this too. So this is the interior of our parlor. Let's put it in realistic. So you can see how the thing looks like. This is the ceiling fan, and this 
is the down light. This is the down light. And you can see the beauty of the ceiling. When you're looking, looking at it from the outside, it was looking ugly, just plain. But now those stripes are coming out. And here is our our dining. This is the dining. You can see the game here. You can see the ceiling, the ceiling fan in the, in the dining. So this is how to put your ceiling and how to put your lighting point. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you and see you.